Valakot Awakening. What the heck? Valakot Awakening. Ay, 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 ay. I guess. Uh, is there anything else better to pick? Uh, don't really see anything else. We'll just go with Valakot. I think we only have three in our total pool, so why not make it a set? I, oh, I love this card. <laughs> Especially with the uh, Life Synergy deck. You can just keep creating cat tokens. Journey to Oblivion. Nice. Removal. Another parry tactician. Yes. Journey to Oblivion. Actually, it's also a roll eruption. Pero mas okay yata to. Not land permanent eh. This one damage lang. Sky Cleave Relic. Uh, Ramp card. Uh, does not really fit our deck. How about Sweet for Lagak? Uh, let's just get the rare. <laughs> or Smite the Monsters. Fine. Let's get the rare. Soul Shatter. One have his creature or planeswalker high converted mana cost. Actually, rare din to. But we could get Nairis binding for Masko so much great pick right now. Let Scourge. No, me pick, but it's not in our color. It's black. Man. I. Yeah, I think we should get the fear of this fledging. Like a dip or celebrant curve, Nathan is mostly two drops, two drops, and some trees. My experience, Major Mobagal yung limited, so we could try cutting some early drops, focus on the bigger value creatures. So let's strike. If it's a water, you may attach an equipment. Don't really have a lot of equipment, you can cut that. Landfall. The one plus one counter can fly the end of turn. Pressure point. No need for that. Dancing wildfire. Three more cards. We can leave one scavenge blade since we do have two core blade masters. Sing barrage, tormenting voice. Two more cards. Pyroclastic Hellion. Seagate Colossus. This one is 5 4, potentially 4 to cast. This one is 5 to cast, 4 5. And you can bounce a land. Deal 2. They're a bit similar. Uh, we can probably cut one of these 5 drops. But this one is 7, but can be discounted up to only 4 to cast. So we 1 Seagate. And one more card. Mm, yep. Equipment. One Cliffhaven Kite Sail and one Scavenge Blade. Let's remove one, one combat trick. Yep, and there we go. 40 cards. 17 lands. Time to meet our maker. Hmm. Very tactician. Journey to Oblivion. This is a warrior. Lizard. Well, I put awakening. Yeah, I think we'll go to try to go all in here. You can cast Journey to Oblivion. Get rid of the territorial sky cat or side cat. And start attacking all. Another character creature cleric gains life link. Don't have any other clerics, so let's attack all.
and right now it's a form what the heck holy moly copy target prevalence value control copy target it's a source is bad you control <laughs> yikes uh so his stop decks will be doubled doubled in effectiveness what's more he's filtering his library Side adapt. Draw. Oh, it's the combo relic vial. Yay! <laughs> plus three plus one till the end of turn. Cry one. Okay, here we go. Attack all the three power creatures and also attack the cats. He has two blockers. Uh, do we have enough to deal lethal? That is a question. Three, four, five, six, plus two, eight, then plus three, plus two. We should have lethal. Depends on that last card in hand, though. We're going to go all in here. Let's go. <laughs> Attack all. He'll block two, three power, three, four, five, six, eight. Then pump with the rage for the win. Actually, our creatures that die will also drain him because of Relic Vile. Let's see. This is the play of the game. Or did we uh, just made a big mistake? Yeah, so with these blocks, our creatures will die, and we don't even need to cast our inordinate rage. He will have lethal damage because of Relic Vile. We'll just drain him. Okay, damage then. Yeah, we don't even need to. Uh, yeah, we don't even need to pump. <laughs> don't even need to cast in order to rage. Got the win there after combat. So here he's forced to block the parry tactician. Otherwise he's dead. He has to jump block. Yup, got it. Nice. Oof. <laughs> Second win in a row. Moving up to silver, it's here. Oh, there's the removal. Well, uh, I guess. Wow. Almost our entire board gone, just like that. At least we still have the Core Blade Master, we can equip it with the Kite Seal. Go down to four. If we have a pump spell, he's dead. Just need to top deck a pump spell. Pump! Pump, 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 pump. Yeah, this is lethal no matter what. Just need to attack all. Even if we block the 6 power creature, we still take 7 damage. Oh well, first loss. Let's cast for each creature in your party. You don't have enough party. Actually, attack both.
No! Four cards in the library. Will be three cards on her turn. Uh, just needs to draw one more land and we're dead. Basically. Yes. Hmm. Well, he will be forced to block. This will have double strike. Equip warriors. We need a warrior. We don't have a warrior. Let's cast the Sea Gate Colossus. And we could equip Core Blade Master next turn. Or actually, Seagate Colossus. It is a warrior. No land! No land! <laughs> no land! <laughs> Come on, no land! Okay. We're alive. Hmm. Down to four. Down to four. It's forced to block this, you don't need to give that double strike. You just put it on the four blade master. And attack all. It's a close match. Uh, I, I, he has to block three of our creatures here. He can't take two, that's minimum of five damage for him. Yes, we'll leave that alive, hoping to get a uh, land next turn. Mill us out. <laughs> so one more turn of drawing a land. <laughs> He's down to one. We didn't make it. Come on. No land. No land, please. We get it. No, we didn't get it! Yes! We win! Whoa! So close! Wow. We had to sweat it out though. Two turns. We just needed a lander and it would have been over. Luckily, got away with the win. We are at three wins and one loss. And King Raiden. Okay, now we have a problem. We're lacking, we're lacking red mana. So we'll just attack both. This one is for sub block. We can sing barrage the falconer. Boom. And. Our second straight win, so four out of five. Guess a fledging or hazard. Hmm. We have choices. Cause we can attack the far side adepts. If it blocks we spike field hazard. I think it's better to cast a fledging. And just play a land. Or do we need the land to get rid of Taiju? I mean, the spike with hazard. Okay, we'll save it. Because so we can cast two spells next turn. Journey into a hazard. Potentially clear his board and attack all. Palaged. Gets the ballot back. It should be big. Ooh, system barrage. Okay. So hazard the Tajuru. Uh, exile the Nisa Zendikon. Actually, we can just cast barrage as well. Okay, we get rid of this. Gets a counter. Well, at least his land is tapped. Okay, the defenses are open. Hmm. 
we can journey that. Then attack these three uh three power creatures. I think if it blocks that three, six, eight, ten, eleven. So if it blocks a core blade master, that's three, six, eight, eleven, twelve. We'll be down to one. I think we just attack all. Let's go for it. Three, six, nine, eleven, thirteen. That's lethal. Yeah, he had to block off our blade master. Down to one. So we just need to play a land, make this flying, and attack. Or cast the pyroclastic helion. So we just need a land to win. Because once we cast the helion, we can return a land. Uh, then it will deal two damage to the opponent. Come on, land. Land! There we go. For the win. Landfall. It has reach, so we can't attack with the fledging. We'll just cast this. The land for two damage. Yes, sir! Five wins. And now we have to get rid of this. Can't let him tap or diff blockers. Actually, consider attacking both. Let's just attack both. Nice. Okay, so we'll kill. Yeah, we'll kill Makin the Ox. And then we journey to oblivion whatever creature that he puts a counter on. Get the raptor. And suddenly we are ahead on board and life. Okay, that's fine. At least we still have the equipment. Rider, if it was kick, it gains haste. Yeah, we can kick. Why not? This is lethal. He has to block either jump block or double block the Scorch Rider. He chose to double block. we will win get our six win it's only down to four we have the board presence advantage we still have 10 life we have a uh, cliffhaven kai sail to make one of our creatures flying as well let's we'll just equip three to whenever gain life your opponent loses one life hmm we can double block the Helion if he wants to. But we can make this lethal. So we'll equip, equip. So now he can only jump block each of them. Down to four. Barring a mass removal, we should win this. That's beckoning. Well, that just takes care of one. You can't even exile the token. Nope. And our six wins. Sweet. 
One more win. Oh, we can actually combat trick him. Target creature power tier less. So we'll just pump this. And power will be more than three. So that spell will fizzle. For the win! Yes! Seven wins. Perfect. And we go to tier one. Alright, very, very successful.